Hi guys, how are you doing? So have you ever thought about creating your own template in Final Draft? Well, here's how you do it. Hi guys, my name is Maria and if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, Welcome back. On this channel, we do tips, tricks, and tutorials on screenwriting, and we love storytelling, film, and TV series. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing and add a comment below. Thanks. So recently, I have been writing several different formats, synopsis, treatments, outlines, one pages, screenplays, oh gosh, you name it. And it has been very kind of stressful because moving through different kinds of softwares in order to do it. So I was thinking, why can't I write all of these in Final Draft? Well, you can, because they have several templates and you can also create your own. So let's get into Final Draft and I will show you how to do it. Okay, once you're inside of Final Draft, you can just go up to File and then New from Templates. And inside of here, you can see different kinds you have screenplay, you have outline, you have postcast, you have, I mean, all kinds of different ones. And you have one for TV, multicam sitcom, single cam teleplay. Yeah, there's so many here. And then you have my template and that's my, that I created. And then you can even click here, download more outlines. And when you go into download the templates, you need to sign up your name and then what version you have. And then you can see different points. Oh, they have Criminal Minds and different classic ones and standard. Yeah, so you can find more here as well. I'll just go make one from the scratch. I mean, in the screenplay, you have like this drop down bar whatever it's called. And you can see all these different ones. Uh, general, simulating, action, character. And you know, like when your character is gonna say something, it jumps down into the middle of the screen uh, of the paper. Uh, but you can actually, when you wanna make your own template, you can make your own settings. If you go to format um, and then you go to elements, so you have general scene headings, character, and all these settings comes with the program. And like, if you go to repair character, you can see on the page, like it's aligned to the left, the spacing, space before, and then font and basic. So this I haven't done myself, but I have done these ones outline for my outline I did. But I was thinking we could do um, one for a treatment, like a template for a treatment. So if you want to add something, you can use click here, new, and then you can create your own, uh, let's say treat, treatment headings. I hope I spelled right. And then you could go to paragraph and I want, I want it to be center and then you just click OK. And you can come back in here if you, I mean, you want to try something out and you're not sure how it's going to look like. Uh, and you just hit OK. And then let's go up here to the bar. And if you go down, you're going to have the treatment headings. And see how it goes right into the middle of the page. Uh, and I will just write uh, snow treatment like that. Maybe I want to have something more and I will go back to elements. Let's create a treatment scene. And then you have it on the left spacing. So maybe you want to have like more spacing if you have the treatment. And you can change the font. You can even change the color here. So let's say I want to have uh, another color. Let's make it red. And maybe use the underline to make it stand out. And you see, and you can see down here the text how it's gonna look like. You can have it bold. You can change all this stuff. Strike out capitalization. 
All caps. Yes. So I will just sit, hit OK. And then you go down here. And then you go up to treatment scene. And you might have interior hospital. Like that. And then you go back to format. Um, and you may, might create another one, treatment, um, text. And when you have created the new one, you might want to go to the elements again, and then go back to the scene. Because here, next element, when you hit enter, you're gonna end up on action. But maybe you want to have your own. Uh, so let's do the treatment scene, like that. After I write this one and I hit enter, it's going to be a girl goes. And you can see now I'm up in the treatment text. Yeah, so you can play around with this and make better settings that I have done here. <laughs> maybe you don't want this one to be read, then maybe you want to have to more have like your name down here and you can make all I mean, the sky is the limit here, really, uh, to make your own settings. Uh, and when you feel like you're done with your template, you can go to File and then hit Save as Template. And then you hit Add to my templates. Save as Treatment. Treatment. Hit Save. And when you now go up to File, New from Templates, and you go to My Templates, you're going to see mine. And then you can open a new one. And you have it there. So this is very helpful because next time I'm going to write a treatment, I have my template. So I don't have to sit and do all these settings again. I can just use the template I created and I will for sure use templates for one for synopsis, one for treatments, one for outlines, and it's gonna speed up my process for sure. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider subscribing. And if you want to learn how to speed up your rewriting process, please watch this tutorial on speech control. I hope you're doing good. Keep on writing, stay safe. I see you in the next one. Hit up!